Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. You're worthy of it all. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hello, everyone. I have to release this word, and I, I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just going to get on here and get going. The Lord is doing something so amazing in the people of God that have prepared their hearts okay this is not about preparing everything and thinking you got it all figured out this is simply about preparing your heart okay this is only about is your heart prepared to receive to steward everything that you need for this next place hallelujah Hallelujah. You know, the Lord told me, he said, I want you to release this word. It's called the tears. Okay. This word is called the tears. He gave this word to me on 1125. Okay. And he said, I want you to release it. And then he just began to speak to me this morning as I was just worshiping and adoring Jesus. Yes. There's such an order coming. Hallelujah. 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 It's sweeping the nations. There's such an order coming. Oh, but you can't see it with your eyes. Don't try to look around and see it, but there's such an order coming. There's such an order coming. Oh, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, this is a season where we celebrate him. You know, but the people of God, the true remnants, those who are sold out, we celebrate him always, right? We don't go by legalities. They can say it's a pagan holiday, whatever. Merry Christmas. Hallelujah. <laughs> For unto us a child is born. Jesus. Hallelujah. He is everything. He's got the answers. But this prophecy, there are many of you who have prepared your hearts. You're ready, okay? And the Lord spoke to me and he said, tell my people that the prophecy spoken over their life is coming to pass at an accelerated rate. You know, some of you have doubted this word spoken over you. You know, the Lord had spoken the word to you in the secret place many years ago, many, many years ago, maybe even before you really knew him, maybe even before you fully understood what he was saying, maybe before you really had a clue what it is that he was destining you to do, to be what he was going to use you for. Okay. But he spoke this word to you many, many years ago. And even since you're walking with him, he's confirmed it to you. And he's confirmed it to you. And even to the point where now it's like, oh man, I'm, I'm a little bit afraid of this, 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 this thing, you know. But the Lord said, for those of you who've prepared your hearts, he is accelerating this word spoken over your life. And it is because you say yes. To the Holy Spirit's direction, my God. You're walking into the greatest freedom of your life. You are walking into the greatest freedom of your life. Simply because, hallelujah, in your yes, chains are broken. In your yes, he catapults you. And I have so much to do. I want to release this word. I have to be obedient uh, to the Lord. Because somebody is, yeah, this is the word. It's called the tears. The tears you have cried, my child, have never been in vain. From before you knew, mm, my God. From before you knew me even to today. I know the pain has been at times excruciating and too hard to bear. I understand your pain better than you do. I know you. I know every part of you. I know you deeply. I love you, my child. I never intended for life to be this way. So much tribulation and heartache. I want you to know I have your tears bottled up. And you are coming into a season of abundant blessings. My God. This is a now word. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Have your way. 
Romans 8 to 8 is a verse that has gotten you through hard times. Yet now you will begin to see the working together. <laughs> Those things for your good. My God, this is on time. Thank you, Jesus. You have endured much. My child, I know. A season of abundant joy and blessing is upon you. The time has come. The time has come. The time has come. Wow. Wow, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <sighs> Though your sins have been many, they are as white as snow. Though your tears have been many, you have watered much ground. You have always been mine. You have planted many seeds. Now you are in a place of real growth. Not just for you, but for my children I sent you. For my children I will send you. For the time has come to turn your tears of sorrow, pain, and heartache into tears of joy. My God. This is on the loy that is Hallelujah. This is on time. Oh, if I could, if I could give you one direction, just follow his instructions. Just obey the Holy Spirit. It might look crazy. It might seem weird. It might be uncomfortable. You might not understand. Just obey his spirit. Oh, children of God. Oh, children of God. Just obey his spirit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh. I am moving on your behalf. I am showing you I am the God who not only heals and sets free, but I also restore and redeem. I am redeeming the time. I am restoring those years the enemy took from you. He will be in, it will be in ways you could never expect. Oh, Jesus, I have made it hidden. <laughs> I have wanted to see you grow into who I have known you to be. Your tears and prayers have tipped the scales. Not only in your heartache, but for your sorrow and longing for the lost. You have continued to count it all joy. You have allowed me to purify my God and wash your heart, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I see the purity I desire to bless. I turn messes into masterpieces. I make all things beautiful in its timing. Your season of true beauty is fast upon you as you long to only be like me. You have chosen that better thing. You have longed for more of me. I have allowed you to feel so much pain. I have let you into the place of my heart. How I love, how I move. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Now I am showing you more rooms, more places in me that you unknowingly long to see. Let your joy be found in me. Let your heart be hidden in me. This is who you are. This is who I created you to be. Now you are ready. As I move upon the hearts of men, I twist and turn them as I wish. I, the King of Kings, I do this. You never ask for anything. So at your request, I am moving. You are always praying for others. Now it is your turn to see the blessing. You never ask for yourself. It has always been about other people. It has always been about my will. It is time for you to be the one who receives. I know this makes you somewhat uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I know this word makes you squirm. 
and even feel like you don't deserve these blessings. Your whole life has made you feel as though you are unworthy and undeserving of anything good. It was because of all the drama and trauma you began to simply wait on the next bad thing. <sighs> My God. You begin to just know and even fear the next terrible, horrible thing was coming any moment. That's all over with! Take heed, that's all over with. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you are now in a covenant. You are now in a covenant relationship with the king of the universe. You have been in this blood covenant for years. I had to prepare your heart to receive these blessings. I had to heal your soul from all the damage Satan had caused by planting bad seeds and trying to kill every good thing in your life, every good dream you ever had. He thought he had one. He thought he had succeeded in snuffing out every dream. But rest assured, I have witnessed every tear. Rest assured, I have always been here. Rest assured, you have nothing to fear now that you have only longed for me. Now that you only long for me, I can subdue. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. On the witness on today, I can subdue the nations through you. Now I can move through you without abandon. Whom the sun sets free is free indeed. You have been made ready to sing. <laughs> you shall soon sing tears of joy. No longer will your, will your story be one of sorrow. Your story shall be one of joy, beauty for ashes. All the events in your testimony shall bring major victories for me and my kingdom. Your story shall be the full picture of redemptive love. Wow. Your story shall be the full 180 change, 180 degree change. In those same places you wept and felt so close, close to death, you shall shout joy and spring up to the fullness of eternal life on earth. See, I came to give life more abundantly. The eternal life I give to my children is one. I long for them to walk in now, not later, but now. I long for them to know who I am and who they are. I long for so much more than many walk in. I will show them my design through your life. I will show them the ways in which the kingdom of heaven works. Yes, I am long suffering, yet I have great joy in my victory. I am set to give you joy like you have never known nor expected to ever experience in your life. Joy that adds no sorrow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Joy for all those tears and beauty for those old ashes. I am set to bless you in the very place you thought you would die. <laughs> in the very place you thought you could not go on. In the very place you truly believed you would never amount to anything. I am set to give you a joy you have never known, but you will know, you will see. My joy, my blessings are everlasting. There is no sorrow with my joy. Those tears of pain are being washed away and I am replacing them with tears of deep joy. Do not believe nor think for one second that you do not deserve good things. Every good and perfect gift comes from me and you only deserve what I give, there is no variation within my blessings. Watch and wait as the desires deep within your heart come to life right before your very eyes. Wow. Thank you, Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. He took me to 2 Peter 1.19. And so we have the prophetic word confirmed, which you do well to heed as a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. There's a rising in many of your hearts because he's made your heart ready. <laughs> ready. He's made your heart ready. There is a rejoicing that is happening. An awakening within us, deep within us. A washing, a cleansing to never look back, but to only go forward in joy. He has a perfect plan. And if I can give you any encouragement, it's this. Obey his commands. Obey his voice. You know, there's things that may not make sense. This is how God moves. His ways are higher. Take that first step. In the darkness, take that first step. You may not understand. Take that first step anyway. Oh God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because he is in the business of blowing minds and opening up doors that no man can shut and shutting doors that no man can open. But he does require a yes. And I'll tell you this, most of my life, so much of my life in the past, I knew he was real. I knew that God was real. And I would ask him, why? Why me? Years upon years upon years. Why me? Why, God? Why? Why do I go through this? Why? Give me the strength. I used to pray for strength. Oh, God, give me strength. Now, as these things in my life are beginning to come to pass, as he's showing me more of his plan. I'm saying, why did you choose me, Jesus? You could have picked anybody. You could have chosen anyone, but you chose me. And I'll tell you this, if you give him your mess, he'll make it a masterpiece. If you give him your life without abandon, he'll, he'll make great things out of it. He'll take the ashes and he'll give you beauty and he'll show you why. And you'll begin to rejoice in the very place that nearly killed you. And my life is living proof. I am living proof that the promises of God are yes and amen. I don't care what you've been through. He'll make it beautiful. He sets the table before us in the presence of our enemies. Our, our heads are anointed with oil. Our cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives and we will live in the house of the Lord. We are the house of the Lord. <laughs> There's nothing greater than that than to dwell in the presence of the Almighty One. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Rejoice. Because those who have prepared their hearts, the prophecy is coming to pass. Oh, Jesus. Your life is not going to be the same. The next five years is just going to, bam. Because of your yes. It requires your yes. He can't do it without your yes. And you can say yes, but do you mean it? And if you mean it, the yes that you give him, he will use it. He will use it. He will use it. He will heal you. He will clean you up right from that broken place. You don't got to clean yourself up. You can't. You can't do it. But he will do it if you give him your yes. Just give him your yes, man. There's many things I regretted in my life, but I didn't regret that. Giving him my yes. <laughs> And again, I gave him a new yes yesterday. <laughs> and I'll give him a new, a new yes today and tomorrow and every day. And maybe five times a day I'll give him a yes. This video is a yes. I tell myself I don't have time for this. <laughs> but God, <laughs> but God, he's got a plan. And I don't want my plan. I don't want my ways. I don't want my will. I want his will. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done here in my life as it is in heaven. And right now, in the name of Jesus, I break off the spirit of fear from your life. I break it off, I bind it up, I burn it and curse it at the root. No more fear in the name of Jesus. 
Ante bere loyera santerio. Hate bere kayera salteri. Let his will be done in your life. Pray the prayer. Let his will be done. There's no greater thing, and I'll tell you this. It's often not what we might want, but there's joy in it. There's contentment in it. There's peace in it, because you know that it's him. I love you. I got to go. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Celebrate Jesus. That is so